And we interviewed businesswoman Ali Angula, who was on her way to represent Namibia in the Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Kenya last month. She has just returned from that country, having won the best women-owned business and women-pitched competition. We now have her in studio to share her experiences with us and what winning this award means for her business and the Namibian business sector. Good morning, Ali, and welcome. Good morning. Well, congratulations, first of all, on the Thank prizes you. that you've won. Um, how did it w feel? you know, winning a prize of this, of the stature? It felt great. <laughs> it was a good uh, win for the team because they've really put in a lot of hard work. So for us, it felt great. It shows us that we are on the right path. Right. Um, can you tell me, what were some of the lessons that you learned at the GES? The, the lessons that I wanted to focus on when I went to the GES is how do we scale our business? Because that's really where uh, the the profit for our business is going to come from. That's what's going to make our business model work. So the sessions that I went to was on how do you scale the business and that's what I managed to get away with. Now, My Republic uh, was crowned um, the best woman-owned business mm -hmm. uh, at the GES mm -hmm. just a short few weeks after it was officially launched because mm -hmm. the shop has been open for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. What do you think mm -hmm. set you apart from, from everyone else? What My Republic is setting out to do is organize fashion in Namibia firstly and on the continent. So fashion on the continent is a, a 31 billion uh, US dollar industry, but it is not organized. So we haven't organized manufacturing, we haven't organized how to build brands, we haven't focused on how to actually give a return on an investment in the fashion sector. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do as My Republic is to address all of those issues and organize the sector. And what we have been able to demonstrate through our business model is that we're actually able to make a business out of fashion. People view fashion as a sort of an art. And if you are a designer, you are going to be making bespoke pieces. And what My Republic has been able to demonstrate is that you can organize it and actually generate a good profit from it. Right. Now, uh, the GS was, was attended by <laughs> President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. Kenya's um, President Kenyatta, also mm -hmm. the uh, CEO of uh, Econet, mm -hmm. and, and you know, well-known businessman Strife Masiwa, and countless other business people from mm -hmm. all around the world. Mm -hmm. What kind of impact uh, did it have on you being in such an environment with all these powerful individuals? It was great to see about 1,200 entrepreneurs all in one space. Um, and it was great to see that they, there are places on this continent that celebrate entrepreneurship. And it was good to be in an environment where when you're talking about a challenge that you're going through, the next person mm -hmm. will be like, yes, that is exactly a challenge I either faced a year ago or three months ago, and I understand what you're talking about. Um, are you going to be giving back to uh, giving back locally uh, mm -hmm. and mentor those who also want to you know follow in your footsteps what, what mm -hmm. are your plans for things such as that we we do that already okay i mentor a lot of young people already so mm -hmm. we'll continue doing that the focus for us is on creating local jobs and sustainable jobs so we're busy with the machine installations at our factory in vitfle vitfle is a place with 3,000 people with about 90 percent unemployment so for us, that's the way that we're giving back. It's by creating economic activity. And uh -huh. we continue mentoring people. For young people that want to you know, be mentored by you and get mm -hmm. into your mentoring program, how mm -hmm. do they get a hold of you? I don't have a formal mentoring program. Okay. Um, but I've got about seven, seven young people that I'm already mentoring. Mm -hmm. um, they can get hold of me on my email address, mm -hmm. which is aliangula at lipnamibia.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, where to from here? What's next for your, for your business? We're launching uh, a new brand, a value brand, towards the end of the year. Okay. We're calling that brand M&A. Okay, what and does that stand for? It stands for, it stands for Mana and Ali. So okay. Mana is my husband's <laughs> name and obviously Ali is my name. Um, so that is a brand that is really aimed at making sure that we're giving a quality product but at a value price. Mm -hmm. So Mara Public is a quality product, a very exclusive product, and we're wanting to make sure that we're playing, playing in as much of the price segments as possible to have a product that is accessible to as many people. Right. Mm. Well, Ali, thank you so much for coming in this morning and uh, congratulations once again. Thank you very much for having me. That was uh, businesswoman Ali Angula talking to us about uh, her latest achievements and uh, the plans going forward for her business. That's uh, the My Republic clothing line. Uh, we'll be back right after.